Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a website showcase inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so let's play this and see what that looks like. So we've got our iMac uh, animating on screen, and then we've got the website that we're showcasing scrolling up in real time. And this is a really cool feature because you can showcase not only websites, but pictures, or maybe you wanna showcase video, and it doesn't apply to just an iMac, you can apply this to smart uh, smartwatches, um, iPads, laptops. So the same principles that you're gonna learn here for this iMac screen, you can apply to different devices as well. All right, so let's start from scratch and get this started. So the first thing I wanna do is I need to go and find my device. So if you go to your studio where all your assets are located, under icons, you'll see that there is devices. So select devices, and then you'll already see that you have access to phones, to iPads, iMacs, smartwatches, laptops. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and choose the iMac for today. So I'm gonna drag my iMac onto my canvas. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rename this around here on my track so I can stay organized. So let's right click it, hit rename, and I'm gonna call it iMac, just so I can stay organized. All right, so once I got that, I wanna animate this iMac so it flies on screen to give it a more um, cool effect, right? So I'm gonna select my iMac, I'm gonna go over here to motion, and then I'm gonna keep it on my in, and then on position, choose right, because I want it to slide into the right. So now when I play it back, you'll see that it comes in, and it's looking pretty cool so far. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of rotation to that animation of it coming in to the right there. So with my right animation selected on my iMac, I'm gonna go up here to my preset settings, and then on advanced settings, I'm gonna click that, and you'll see I have access to all my positions. I'm gonna to go to my rotation, and I can either manually punch this in, or I can drag my mouse on top of my percent sign, and it turns into a double-sided arrow there and I can left click and hold with my mouse and drag to the left or to the right to adjust my properties, right? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and choose manually and type in my uh, minus 60, all right? So now when I play this back, you'll see that it flies in a cool rotation and then lands in its spot. So that's cool, I like that. And again, you can always adjust it and tweak it to your preferences that you want. All right, so now that I've got that set, I need to add a shape to kind of shape out the screen size so that I can add my website to it, right? So let's go ahead and click on shape up here and then you're gonna choose the rectangle shape, all right? Now I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna line up the shape that I just added with my iMac there and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this instead of it being a rounded rectangle, let's rename it and call this screen just so we can stay super organized and we know what we're looking at. So once you got that renamed, I'm gonna go ahead and size up my blue shape here to the size of my iMac. Now it doesn't have to be in there perfectly, but it just needs to spill over into the black a little bit because it's gonna go behind the iMac here in a second. So let's go ahead and line this first part up there. And if you hold shift on your keyboard and then click and drag, you can kind of resize a little faster there. Um, and I'm gonna drag this guy up uh, down a little bit, there we go. And again, it doesn't have to be super perfect, but it needs to kind of spill over into the black a little bit on your IMAX screen or whatever device you have. You just don't want it spilling out over the sides. You want it to be nice and even there. So once you got a good uh, shape build out for your screen, you're gonna go ahead and right click on your shape on the canvas, and then you're gonna select group. So that went ahead and made a group for you. And now I'm gonna drag my group underneath my iMac. And you can see that it now is behind my screen so now it looks like there's a blue screen on my iMac which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and double click on our group that we just created and now we're inside of our group and I'm gonna select the blue shape that we created and I'm gonna hit delete on the keyboard because I don't need that blue shape I just needed to create a frame for the website or my picture or a video clip whatever you choose to go into this right so I'm gonna drag my cursor to the beginning here because I want my website to start at the beginning of where the time starts and then I'm going to go over to my media and I've already got a website that I've imported in I'm going to drag that onto my group canvas here all right so I need to resize this to fit this canvas on my group so I can use these um, expand tools here to kind of speed that process up so I'm going to go ahead and expand it out and I want it to start at the top of my web page not here in the middle so what I can do is I can go over I can manually like pull this down um, but for me it's easier to go to properties and just kind of use my Y axis to kind of just scroll down there and I don't have to worry about getting the right size here. So I can go here and just drag it to the spot I want it to start at, which is pretty good right there. All right, so now when I go back to my timeline, you'll see that it's added on my screen there, but I still got some spillover 
and it's not exactly uh, masked out properly. So what I do is I need to add a mask to my group. So I'll select my group again. And then at the bottom of your settings here in the bottom right corner, there's a mask button. Go ahead and click it to turn it on and you'll see that it created a mask around your website or your picture. And now it's kind of hidden behind the iMac properly, which is cool. All right, so now you can see that I've got my website on my screen, I'm good. But if I play this back, my animation of my computer does not, uh, my website does not flow with that. So what I need to do is I need to copy this animation to my group. So to do that, I need to select my right animation on my iMac. On my keyboard, hold Command and press C for Command Copy. And then I'm going to select my group and then press Command and hold it and then press V on the keyboard. And I'm going to paste it into my group. So now when I play this back, it flies in together on screen and I've got a cool little animation there going, right? All right, so my next step is to add a position animation to my website so I can get it scrolling properly. So let's go back into our group. Let's double click in there. And I want to go ahead and select my website here. Now I need to right click it and then add animation. Go to properties and choose position. All right. So what that did is it added a in point keyframe and an out point keyframe on my website. All right. So I'm going to drag this to about right here because I want it to start scrolling about right there. And with that first in point selected, I'm going to go ahead and just click right there just to set the in point in position, right? That's where it's starting. Now I'm going to select my out. Um, keyframe there and I'm going to go over here to my properties and go to my Y axis and click and drag on the pixels there to where it's going to go down and start scrolling. Right. All right. So maybe I'll scroll down about right there and then let it go. So now I know that it's going to start scrolling right there. Now you can kind of see that that's that speed or that transition of that scroll is a little, it's a little wonky, right? So what we can do is we can adjust the easing on that, um, uh, sequence for these keyframes, right? So let's double click on the endpoint there and it'll bring up our easing properties. And for both the in and out, I'm going to just choose linear, right? And on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and expand out these keyframes so I can slow down that scroll a little bit and then have it go there. And again, I do want this to start a little later, not right away because it never, it animates in on screen first and then I want it to start scrolling. So let's try that out. Let's go back. And now let's play this and see what that looks like. So it comes on screen and then it's starting to scroll. So yeah, you go, you get the, you get the, uh, the feel for it, right? Now, again, we can go back in here and start tweaking some more. Um, I can, if I want it to be a little slower, I can come here and expand out my iMac and then expand out my group, right? And I need to fill this space here. So let's go back into our group and then let's pull out our website till it matches there and then pull out this end keyframe. So it's, out here. So now this time is going to be a little slower, right? The longer the keyframes are from each other, the slower your speed, the closer they are together, the faster your scroll speed is going to be. All right. So let's go back and now let's play that. And there we go. Now I've got a slower scroll speed, nice smooth transition. And that's what I'm looking for. All right. So that is how you create a website showcase inside of Create Studio Pro. And again, you can use this same principle for any device from iPads to laptops to smartwatches. Um, apply the same principles that we applied to this iMac, but apply them to those other devices and they'll help enhance your projects. All right, so hopefully you got some quick tips out of here. I can't wait to see what y'all create and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.